After failing to set up the GPU switcher on Solus during my quarantine, I wanted to hop onto another distribution. And because the quarantine hotel had a very slow internet, so I picked the latest distribution and downloaded it on my USB drive, which was Pop! OS at the time, so that I don't have to wait for the update after the fresh installation. And this is what happened. I started my installation after some heavy tinkerings on my previous system earlier that day, and I had a really early meeting next morning. So I was in a rush and not paying attention. I failed to notice that I downloaded this ISO file in order to use on a VM for shooting one of my other videos. So it was the Intel version, and I didn't realize it until after I finished the installation. I was surprised that I couldn't find a VDX server settings option in the application menu. I have never made this mistake before. So I was in a dilemma. Should I download the NVIDIA version ISO from Pop! OS website using this slow internet? Or should I install the five month old Manjaro and wait for the update then? Then I decided to see if System76 had thought of my incompetence and I could solve it without reinstalling anything. And it turned out they did. After a couple of minutes of DuckDuckGo search, I found that there is a package available in the distribution to set up NVIDIA. I was able to make it work as easy as install it and reboot the system. Everything is in place after that. I was able to launch the NVIDIA settings and switch the GPUs without any issue. I have never taken Pop! OS seriously until that very moment. I always thought that Pop! OS is for someone who's new to Linux and wanted to game. And I was too good and too expert to use such newbie-friendly distribution. I apologize for being this arrogant. You guys are amazing for thinking of someone like me who would make such a mistake in such desperate situation. So thank you, System76. Thank you indeed. I remember when Pop! OS first introduced auto-tiling functionality in 2020. I was at the time fascinating about tiling window managers. I was having fun trying out i3, Awesome, and BSPWM. I trained myself using certain keyboard shortcuts for certain things. I was so excited when I heard that Pop! OS introduced the tiling system inside their desktop environment. But after giving it a try, I was disappointed to see that there was no way to change the tiling keyboard shortcut, or at least I wasn't able to find a way to do that. Without being able to use my favorite shortcuts, I left Pop! OS. But this time, I'm happy to report that I was able to customize all my frequently used keyboard combinations within minutes, and they work flawlessly after changing. If the fast solution for NVIDIA driver was the first turning point for me to start liking Pop! OS, then this is definitely the determining factor for me to want to use it as my daily driver. Then, without any surprises and difficulties, I was able to set up flat packs in minutes and use it to set up my development environment. Gaming was no issue either. Finally, I got to play some Assassin's Creed after some time. I picked up Pop! OS in the first place because it was simply the latest ISO file on my USB drive. I was planning to use it until I have some faster internet so I can switch to another distribution. But now, with the easy setup of NVIDIA and the shortcut customization, it is now already the end of the second week after I got home. I'm still using it. Furthermore, I heard that they have decided to create their own desktop environment without basing on GNOME. I would love to see how that turned out to be. Because it looks like System76 has been making some impressive improvements which suit my personal use cases more and more perfectly. So I love to give some kudos to them and thank them for making such good distribution for everyone to use. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.